If you're like me, then the first time you analyze this bodice, you'll have to blink a few times because all you see is the meme of that woman with the confusing symbols. There were seams in inconsequential places, and there were no seams in places where seams should dwell. Needless to say, I was smitten as a kitten, and I posted this snap to my Instagram story. Unsurprisingly, I received oodles of DMs asking me to recreate this look, and you know, since I'm moving in a few days and haven't packed at all, I thought this, this was how I should be spending my time. Nope. Nope. I said Barbie. There. I think that process was actually not helpful, but it was a better waste of my time than Fortnite. Now, I don't like puzzles, but I determined that this one would be solvable with enough draping on my mannequin. No, not the unsettling male one that I offer coasters to. The female one. I cracked the difficult code of this bodice by draping a bedsheet over my dress form and then luring all the fabric to the front center, where I pinned it in place, then traced an imaginary flipper to get the correct shape. Then I unpinned the sheet and cut away our bunchy flipper. I cut along the fold of my fabric to ensure symmetry on both sides, because symmetry is an intelligent sound word. Now to replace our bunchy flipper with a smooth fitting flipper. If you don't have a dress form, no problem. Just have a friend smooth out the fabric on you. Well, no. No one's that close of friends. That would be awkward. A dress form is a great investment. After cutting out your front bodice piece, take a moment to ponder what type of person used to sleep on that bed sheet before you bought it from a thrift store. Then draw a line, an arbitrary one, that you will then stitch over ever so slightly. I have to take a quick pause to go see Little Women, the new one. Now being that the 1994 version is my brother and I's favorite movie, we had low expectations. But I do consider this newer one to be more accurate to the book, and I think Micah found something interesting in it too. What did you think of Little Women? I realized that Joe and Lori have inverted gender names. You know, like Joe, Lori. Oh, because Joe's the girl, Lori's the boy. That is, that's what I said. Besides the costumes being about as accurate as Emma Watson's American accent, I'd say it was pretty good. Someone wasn't wearing their diaper, and now there's chicken poop on the coffee table, and no one wants to pick it up, so we're gonna take the coffee table out to the porch. While we pivoted the coffee table out onto the porch, I realized that the chicken poo had looked a bit suspicious, like maybe it contained a certain substance, but I didn't know what that substance I was curious about looked like, so I looked it up. Look, I am a concerned mother, and my chickens do wander the neighborhood sometimes, but anyway, I felt bad for not trusting them and looking it up, so I decided to remove it from my history, but then I realized like a hundred thousand people are gonna be seeing this video, so what's the point? Now let's talk about the cloth I'm using. I got it for about $13 at Goodwill, and it's not exactly satin, <clears throat> but if you iron it enough, it looks like it. Trace your pattern pieces onto your fancy fabric. Be sure to cut out two layers, then place them right sides together, pin all along the edges, spray paint an ugly water container black, and sew along the edges. Just be sure to leave the bottom open so that you can flip it right side out. I'd like to take a moment to beseech you all to show mercy upon me in the comments regarding my very messy house. Christmas just happened, and as I mentioned, I'm moving soon, so everything is sort of in chaos, and I could have cleaned, but instead I decided to make this worthless video. My sewing's on pause because Zelda's trying to find a good spot to lay an egg, and I want to support her. Because, you know, solidarity and stuff. Please don't lay it on my head, though. Oh, <laughs> that was a good angle. You can tell she's gonna lay an egg because she starts like panting out of her bottom. Miracle of breakfast. It almost looks like a little puppet mouth talking. Guess what? Chicken butt. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Good job. Thank you for breakfast. Mm, this is probably the warmest one yet. You deserve a treat. Look at that. I am honestly not exaggerating when I say the fresher they are, the better they taste. Ah yes, and now back to your regularly scheduled plagiarized clothing tutorial. Well, admittedly, tutorial is a strong word to use for a video such as this one. I know I haven't given the best instructions, but it is my Christmas present to myself to be extra lazy with the instructional aspect of this video. Now attach whatever you feel like to whatever you feel like and make it work. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so I attached the flipper bodice piece to the outside bodice piece, the encompassing bodice piece, the crust, if you will. While making this dress, it's important to note that John Adams' vice president was Thomas Jefferson, and they both died on the 4th of July, 50 years after the Declaration of Independence. John Adams' last words were, Jefferson still lives, but he was wrong, for he had died five hours earlier. With that info in mind, set aside your half-made dress and go to any doctor's appointments you might have set up. Now to make the back of our bodice. Luckily, the homo sapien back doesn't have too many curves to a 
accommodate for. So you can create the back by simply tracing the general shape of the front onto two layers of fabric. You should end up with a set of quadruplet pieces. Now layer them on top of each other and make them twins. Figuring how tight to make those off-the-shoulder straps was a bit difficult on my armless mannequin, so I made an arm. The scrap stuffed sock actually helped tremendously. To figure out how long you want your skirt, make sure you lay on the fabric. Always cut it a little longer than you think you need. I dove headfirst into the skirt making process without one iota of a plan. But one thing I did know is that I was going to need a zipper, so I had to go to the store, but I didn't want to go to the store because I'm going to Florida soon and I'm leaving my chickens because the dang campground I'm going to, the guy said chickens aren't allowed, dogs are, and probably alligators because you know it's Florida, but no chickens. So I decided to just take one of my chickens shopping with me. This is Tonto, everyone. Some of you uh, maybe have been wondering if I'm political and you know, sort of, I'm actually a lobbyist. A hobby lobbyist. Did I drive all the way out here to make that joke? No, I need a zipper. Cheers. The outing was great. I think Tonto loved it, and I occasionally notice children following us around. At this point, I decided to make Tonto's middle name Travolta after the boy in the plastic bubble. Tonto, cover your eyes. Okay, so remember that doctor's visit I had yesterday? It was mostly uneventful, but I found out that I gained 18 pounds in the past couple months. I had no idea. I mean, half my pants wouldn't button anymore, but I assumed it was just like a problem with the laundry machine. But anyway, I'm gonna use this 18 pound weight gain to inspire me because now I am 18 pounds more valuable, 18 pounds more substantial, and I'd like to think 18 pounds more creative. Oh my, that was spooky. But the ghost was quickly scared away, probably because of the 18 extra pounds of power I wielded. And then I set to work on the skirt, which I could not explain to you if I tried. I just kept trying it on and then making adjustments and cutting, ripping. I remember when. I remember, I remember. Only some of you got it, that's okay. To make the leg opening, I just drew a big shape and cut it out. Now, if my dull hair color caused you to fall asleep at any point during this video, it is time to rise and shine because I'm about to color it. Yeah, you knew that was coming, right? Not the hair color, but the- JJ's trying to prevent me from coloring my hair. No, to do it for you properly. How would you split the head in four sections? With a saw, a really powerful one. My New Year's resolution is to only ever have people color my hair who have never colored hair before. Looks like I need a comb. That's it. That is my hand, yes. That's- You were in the mirage. Let's sing our favorite song. <laughs> Liberty, 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 liberty. Now, while that red poison was festering on my scalp, I noticed in a picture that Kylie had posted, the back of the skirt was a lot wider than I had anticipated, so I had to cut an extra wide pizza slice and wedge it in the back of my skirt. Courtney just made me the bag for a salt shaker. <laughs> Courtney always gives the best presents. For instance, this Christmas, she gave me exactly what I wanted, a pair of earrings that looked like ears on top of ears. I am so blessed. Speaking of gifts, Grandpa JJ let me burst his blood blister. However, you'll have to DM me if you want to see the whole video, because I remember the blowback when I stuck a pin through my lip in the wisdom teeth video, so I'm trying to be careful. When sewing the bodice to the skirt, I gave it more careful consideration and took it more slowly than the time that I removed the cyst from my brother's head after he turned 26 and lost health insurance. And now it is time for the zipper. Make sure the entire length of the back of your bodice is left open. Also make sure that at the top middle of the back of your skirt, there is a light bulb length slit. This is where your zipper will make its new home. For her grotesquely long bow, you're going to cut out two strips of fabric about a Makara's length long and a calf length wide. I'm 5 foot 11, if that helps. Then turn those two pieces into conjoined twins, then fold it in half long ways and sew it in place, making one gigantic ribbon. I hope you'll take this moment to forgive me for not doing a holiday Barbie dress again this year, but it was red and I was a bit tired of red. Now flip your gigantic ribbon right side out. So I was just going to turn this big tube inside out, but now I'm thinking this look for a sleeve. Is that too much of a creative liberty to take on Kylie's dress? Probably. Now, one of my last year's New Year's resolutions was to only watch Netflix if I was doing something productive at the same time. By the way, if anyone can guess what show I'm watching, I'll give you 200 imaginary dollars. Next, you'll want to fill up your bathtub with these. And when you come out, you'll look like this. Oh, sorry. Was that a little noisy? I'm just having a little bit of a tough time adjusting to the fact that my steps are now 18 pounds more powerful. If I seem oddly excited to you about this weight gain, I kind of am. And it's hard to put my finger on why. Back in the 90s and early 2000s, being super skinny was the big thing. Well, that was an oxymoron. But nowadays with icons like the Kardashians and Lizzo and Beyonce, it's, you, you don't, you don't want to be a, a stick anymore. If you've ever seen my dad, you might understand my genetics just a little bit. Point is, for the first time in my life, I'm actually in the proper weight range for my height and 
it just feels kind of exciting to be healthy. Oh gosh, I forgot we were making a dress. Um, I hand sewed the whole hem of the dress and then that little flappity flap in the front of her bodice, I hand sewed as well. Now for the fun part. No silly, not extreme pogo sports. I mean, accessories. For $6 at Gabe's, I found this here neck belt and ear ornament set. If, like me, you were born in May and your birthstone is emerald, then when you cry, your tears will harden into these little babies and you can use them to adorn your necklace. Or you can get a package at Hobby Lobby. And now to give yourself some claws with a K. I found these under my bed, but if you'd like to make picking up objects immeasurably difficult, you can get some at Walmart. Years from now, fashion historians will speculate on the uses of these nails. I can see it now. Some futuristic version of Bernadette Banner will be making a video saying something like, Yes, women of that age only wore nails if they were so upper class that they didn't have to work for a living because you can't work in these things. You can't do a darned thing in them. I am telling you, they are impossible. Ta -da! It's Christmas every day here in the tour's house where we hate Christmas, but for some reason I've had our Christmas tree up for seven years. Happy seven year anniversary, buddy. Now, I'm not gonna pretend that this dress was super easy to make or that I completed it in one day because I don't have to pretend I did complete it in one day and it was super easy. I'm just kidding. You watched the video. You know I spread the process out over a few days and honestly, that's probably the reason that this ended up being my favorite evening gown I've ever made. One more thing. Congratulations, Samuel and Julie. Julie, your boyfriend, fiance, DM'd me and said you were a fan and that he was going to propose to you. So I hope you said yes or this. Shout out is awkward. This would actually be a great excuse to do the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. You guys remember that? Don't do it. I want to recreate her picture, but I don't have a plain white wall in this house because as you can see, every square inch of everything is covered with something. Do you guys remember when I drew that dress on the fridge almost a year ago? It's still there. So we're going to my friends Courtney and JJ's house because they have a blank wall. Hmm, do you guys think I should take the Lambo there? You know my Lambo that I had custom designed to look exactly like a Prius because I'm that wealthy? I'm Kylie. And Ralph. And Russo. Okay, we're storming. Storming on the bed. I'm fine. I shaved my arm. No. I'm sorry. JJ, how attached are you to these curtains? Why? We're finally home, and you're probably like, finally? How long of a drive was it between Courtney's house and your house? Well, we got in a car accident on the way home, but it's all good. The other important thing that happened after I left the Merkley's house was I realized I liked the dress better with the straps on the shoulders. Mm -hmm.